Let's quickly go over the simple equivalent resistance relationships. I'll start with the resistors connected in parallel. Let's just consider three resistors connected uh, in parallel. Um, in these kind of problems, we would like to replace the uh, all of these things in here by a single equivalent resistor so that uh, the rest of the circuit um, behaves in the same way when I do this replacement. Okay, um, When does the rest of the circuit uh, behaves in the same way? Um, this happens when uh, it sees the same potential drop between the points A and B and the same current flow, uh, flowing from A to B. Okay, If these conditions are satisfied, in that case, uh, it doesn't matter what is uh, there between these two points. So the critical uh, point to observe in here is that for all of these three resistors, all of these three resistors, the potential drops are the same because their ends are connected to the same points, uh, but the currents are not. Uh, somehow the current that comes from uh, point A is divided into three, uh, three non-equal parts perhaps. So therefore the currents in each branch uh, will not be equal to the uh, the current on the main branch, but the current on the main branch will be the, uh, equal to the sum of the currents uh, uh, on the main branch. So therefore the current is added, but the potential drops are the same. Okay, so for this, of course, we just write down the relationships. Let I1, I2, and I3 be the currents, and I is the current in the main branch. Uh, so you can see that the, for each one, I can write down the uh, potential drop which is the same in all cases uh, as the current times the uh, resistances. When I write down these and find the currents and then find the total current, um, we can then express the total current in terms of the potential drop across the, um, the whole element um, divided by some number and that number is the equivalent resistance. So you can then see that in that case, the reciprocal of the equivalent resistance is equal to the sum of the uh, resistances of um, each individual branch. Okay, uh, so let's just note in here that the equivalent resistance in that case is smaller than the minimum resistance in, in these branches. So therefore, this is a process that decreases the resistance. Uh, what happens if the resistors are connected in series? In that case, the current is has the same value on all resistors, but the potential drops are added up. So as a result, um, if I call the potential drops as V1, V2, and V3, in that case, um, I just write it in terms of the individual resistances, uh, write each individual potential drop, and the total potential drop is the sum of uh, these. So therefore, the poten total potential drop is uh, equal to the current multiplied with that number, uh, with a number, of course, and that number we just treat it as the equivalent resistance. So when we derive this, we can see that the equivalent resistance in that case is equal to the sum of the resistances. So this is a process then that increases the, um, the resistance of the uh, branch.